guys, it's Perry Rebecca. And I'm back here with another video. In this video, I'm going to give you three tips on how to become a better witch or wizard and how to kind of control that magic, that you, your inner magic. But before we get into the video, please follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Roblox, and of course, YouTube. Also, I'd like to say um, thank you guys so much for 3,000, for 300, um, 300 plus followers on Instagram. I'm so grateful for that. Thank you so much for everyone. And my dream is to get to 2K on Instagram. So if we can do that, that would be great. And I'm going to be posting spell updates and um, more a video updates. So if you um, follow me on any of those platforms, you can get alert before I post a video that I'm going to post it. So without further ado, without having a super long intro, let's get right into the video. So the first tip I like to use is to have an um, object to actually control where that magic is going. So like, I'll give you an example. So since I'm a witch who's more um, leaned toward water and nature, but I also am, I think I can do spells on fire and air, you can use literally anything to channel your magic energy. These are literally just flowers that have been infused with unicorn horns and fairy dust. So I literally just bought these fake flowers and I cut the bottom open, I filled it up, then I re-closed it, I set a magic spell and literally now it helps to channel magic energy. Or if you are like a witch who's more channeled toward dreams, um, I'm, I'm channeled also channeled toward, toward dreams, I can tell the future in my dreams, you can use literally lavender because lavender is the gateway to dreams and reality. Um, but this is actually handmade paper mache from my friend who is also magic from her grandmother and she paper mache this whole thing and um she let me borrow this for so I could show you guys and um it's very helpful like if you sleep up with this above your bed it really helps you um but that's it yeah but as cool as those things are I know that there will be some people who want to have it a little bit more fancy, and that's fine. Um, it's not a bad thing, but like plain is very powerful. But if you're one of those people who likes more fancy stuff, then I have a recommendation for you. This is my flower staff, and it's about three feet long, and um, it has cherry blossoms on it. And it's, it was made of plastic, but this is my most, uh, it was made of actually Mars plastic. But this is my favorite one, actually, because it holds the most power. You see, um, when it was made, like, as the, I kind of helped make it a little bit. And so when the plastic was cooling, I put infusing oils in it. Um, you, it's very, you can, you can make these really easy. Like all you need is a melted plastic kit and you need some cherry blossoms that have been infused. And so I, um, infused this when it was made and then I cast about like five spells on it. So it's very strong and, um, it helps me a lot. Um, so yeah. Okay, moving on. My tip number two is that um, you should have a collection of things like spell books and potions and things like that that can help you in everyday use. So let me explain that a little bit more. Okay, so to clarify, so to clarify what I just said, um, I have a 
thing and it's a little bit messy, but this is my savings jar and this always helps um, when I need to buy something like a new jar to hold my magical ingredients in or I need to buy the non-natural ingredients and make them magical. So this savings jar helps me a lot and um, I have a lot of jars like um, I collect lots of jars and um, all of these papers are mine and they're all have like spells on it and stuff. Some of them do. And um, this is my container of salt that has been infused. It's um, special, it's not regular salt. It's not like just table salt. Um, and you can literally see I have so much on this right here. Um, I have unicorn horns, I have, um, jars, I have unicorn's mane, I have moonlight crystals, um, I have all of that stuff. Um, if you need help on where to find this stuff, cause like you don't know where it is, make sure to DM me on Instagram or message me on TikTok cause I'm like it's on Instagram a lot. So I can help you with that if you want. All right, so my last and final step is step number three. And um, so, what this step means is I you should always carry an object of power. Now, I don't have this object on in all my videos, but I'll give you a closer look. All right, so this is my object of power that is very powerful indeed, and it looks normal, but actually this is a crystal that was made into an arrowhead, so it's more than 500 years old. And these are two beads of infused, um, infused Livonian oil jade. So if you, um, like, if you have Livonian oil, then you can use it to infuse, like, jade and stuff. Um, so I use this to help channel my energy when I get really mad. I focus and I think, um, I think... I'm one with the earth and the earth is one with me and literally all my anger melts away. So this helps me do that a lot. It helps me concentrate all my energy and not think about anything. So guys, those are all my steps that um, I would like to say. And um, I thank you for watching this video. Please follow me on um, all my profiles. So thank you for watching. Have a great day.